And maybe as a wife, you have a budget for like that is given from your husband for running the household, and that's it. And if you are a man, you get what budget for what? If you for the man. for the from the woman, if the yeah. woman is working, yeah. uh, no, the same thing, I guess. You get a budget per not month. Not for the house. I don't know why I'm. No, if no, you're a man, I'm not uh, giving you budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so men should not give a budget. <laughs> This is sexism uh, to another level. I don't level. know, but I'm just thinking, okay, if you... You are a man, you should go earn your money. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm... And welcome back to MP. Financial mistakes, financial planning, and budgeting in a marriage. How do we do it? Today we want to tackle one important thing, especially when you're married. This is the thing you have to, a decision you have to make. Is it better to, to have, have a joint account or to have separate account? Before we continue with this video, just take a moment and answer that question below. I'm yeah. so curious. I think for a common account, it's of course, I think it has so many benefits. Yeah, we can talk about trust, of course. If you see signs, I would say don't even think. Signs that you can't trust the person, don't even think about having a common account. I Also, when you trust the person, you're still taking a risk. And if you just decide if you want to take yeah, the uh, risk. To be honest, having a relationship is having <laughs> risk. Uh, a high one. A high one, and uh, you never know. You're not never 100% sure. As much as you are in love with the person and everything, there is no certainty. And there is no reason also on the other side you to doubt of your partner. So it doesn't make sense for you to just get doubtful that, oh my goodness, it might be... The, my partner might store all the money that we have on the common account. <laughs> so doesn't make help sense. You, what you're help you? About so it every, every doesn't single make day. sense to I, think about. Yeah, that. I think at the end of the day, you just have to look at the benefits of you having a, fresh, uh, a, a joint account. And in my opinion, you are a couple. You're living together. You are paying most of the things together. You're probably working towards financial goals together. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that you have a common account. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with a problem we have had for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm the one who paid for the washing machine, now you pay for the stove. Or, oh, now the washing machine needed to be repaired, it cost 300, I paid 300, now give me 50 or the 150. So then that it becomes... That doesn't make sense. That is also, I think that alone is going to bring more arguments of, did I pay you this? Did you pay me, me this? this? Yeah, and for a long time it was like that for us, but then we finally decided that Okay, for the household, everything that regarding the household and, uh, you know, common expense, everyday expenses, it should be budget first, because that is the first big step. So you know how much money you need to put eight months in the common account. And secondly, is paid everything from the same common account and each of us contribute to this common account 50%. So we don't need to divide any money. We just pay with the, with the card from the common account. Yeah, and I think that is uh, actually very good. If you if you feel like the risk for you is too much to just say we only having a joint account, mm -hmm. then just do a third account which is going to be joint, where you contribute money mm -hmm. to buy most of the things that you pay together, but still keep those separate accounts. And I think this works best. And that's what we are doing actually. Yes, and I think this is what works best. If if you feel though you have full trust and you only can work with one full account for the family, it's also okay. Yeah, but I would not recommend that, to be honest. Why not? Yeah, I don't know. I just mm, don't know. Two separate accounts. You like okay, your you say, freedom. You say, I like my freedom, I guess. I know you I know you think, ah, no, I'm going to buy another motorcycle. I'm not going to buy another motorcycle. Don't you worry. But I just want to know, and I have my final, fi uh, private finances, you have your private finance, and together we are contributing to our fa family finances. <laughs> family finance. Fan fi family finances. Yeah, it, it's, it's also a little bit scary, I have to say, because mm -hmm. you're like, huh, huh. I would just say, don't have one joint account. Really do it. Keep a little bit of freedom yes. on the side. But yet, I understand some couples, especially if you're not contributing 50-50, or maybe there's only one person who that works, then it's okay also to say, mm. we have only one income, we make it, this is one joint account, and this way we have 
Yeah, but I, he's, you know, it doesn't really make sense also to have only all your eggs in one basket, I oh, would okay. say. Mm -hmm. So you never know what this account, if it gets uh, frozen for some reason, you don't want ah, to, okay. you want to have like some, for safety, another account open with some money on it that you can only access type of to account. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would say be also mindful not to put all your eggs in one basket. And also, like, if you have, uh, I think what happens if uh, then you have only one common account, then I think there is going to be one of the two pe person in the couple that are going to prevail and to be controlling everything because... Because, uh, well, what, you know, part happened. of your money is always going it's to be... It's always there, <laughs> like, uh, okay, you know, okay. if I'm the, it, it, like, there are a relationship where maybe the male is more dominant, so it's going to decide also... Your money, the personal money that you are earning, your husband is going to decide how to use it. And yes. That is not going to, to yes, be good. Yes, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So, so it's probably better to have... You have your own money, so you should contribute for your 50% and then you should have a freedom to decide a little bit. To do some part, basic purchases, at least if you want to buy, to buy yourself a new pair of uh, boots or something. If I get you very well, in your opinion, you never want to have just a joint account and you don't have anything else. You still really want Absolutely. to have that I, account I, for secret expenses. As much as I love you, I think we are individual and we should also uh, pursue our own uh, financial freedom. Okay. What What do you think if if you are a couple and you don't ever have a joint account, you have only separate? I think also that is not wise and not it's, it's not optimal for the relationship because as you say the, it gets a lot of stress when when you have to deal with I paid that you paid this then give me back part of the money doesn't really make sense so I would say you know you have to start with budgeting you have to budget what is your monthly expenses then you you decide to open a common account in this common account each of you put enough money for two months uh, of a uh, worth of expenses, so you have a little bit of, uh, I would say, a cushion in case uh, I don't know there are some delayed payment or something like that. Uh, yeah, buffer. Uh, and then each month, uh, each of you contribute fifty percent to the monthly uh, expenses that you have uh, uh, planned scheduled. You're only taking this really from a perspective, but think about if there's only one person earning. Yeah, if there are only one person earning, it's another pair of things. Oh, no, because, I think still. Uh, it would be difficult for, for, for the other partner to be uh, to really have a voice into the, the topic, into the matter, because... Uh, it's not no. true. Uh, uh, you you know, think so? I think <laughs> in, that case, uh, in that case, for, um, unfortunately, most of the time what happens is like, Maybe as a wife, you have a budget for like, that is given from your husband for running the household, and that's it. And if you are a man, you get what budget for what? If you for the for the from the woman, if the yeah. woman is working, yeah. no, the same thing. Yes, you get a budget per Not month. Not for the house. I don't know why I'm. No, you no, are yeah, men. I'm not giving you budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so men should not give a budget. This is sexism <laughs> to another level. I don't right? know, but I'm just thinking. Okay, if you you are a man, you should go earn your money. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm thinking. Yeah, but I I know some good fathers. I remember when I was doing German course. I know some good fathers that also really stay at home, watch over the kids, and do everything else. So I would say yes. Then if you are a man as well, you should also I mean, just get married. You are a house husband. You're a house. Oh, proud one. Yeah. So then you should also get your budget. But yeah, for me, when I think of that separate account, I always think as a couple, eventually you should have a joint account. Mm -hmm. Separate account is a little bit of a high risk for people just to do whatever they want with their money and you can't really catch up with the financial goals for mm -hmm. you as a couple. I, I, I feel like that. Yeah. Because I think everybody's definitely spending whatever they want. Nobody's checking nothing. No, I just, uh, yeah. A hot mess. Everybody is uh, just paying for whatever they want. They, there is no budget. But I think there is no. I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't want to destroy the relationship, you have to come up with a solution because otherwise, these things are going to put a lot of stress with your relationship, and you're going to break up. I guess there is no other option. 
you can go with this kind of um, unless one of you is making so much money that the other person is not have to worry about anything yes. like you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mommy that is taking no, care of all you your just, expenses you inherited something or you are lucky you won a rotary or something it should also work yeah, yeah but yeah ah, a mini joint account otherwise find a solution for ah. That financial, that separate account is a little bit of a risk. Yeah. <laughs> if you only have a separate account, my issue is still the same. Separate account only, I, I'm i not sure or I don't know how can I verify that you every single year contributed to, you are contributing to the mm -hmm. decision we are taking together. No, we are not talking about now actual purchases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if we say we're buying a stove, I think that is easier to look at that we bought it together. But I think really financial goals so if we say in five years we want to get a new house or house. an apartment mm -hmm. and, and we just trust each other five years later let's deposit <laughs> I, th I think it's going to be good you know kind of, yes, mm -hmm. because okay yeah you put also a new car you put okay you it's your money is your account yeah now five years later let's do something yes oh, Ah, okay. We agreed that uh, in the next five years we are saving that amount of money per month and then at the end of the five years we are giving like a, a forward payment for buying a house. And then you discover five years later none of you, not you and not your wife, uh, Accountability, saved right? some money. Yeah. How to that change. is not the case you want to find yourself in. So that is why I think we sh you should have financial goal and sure you should have also a common account at least for the basic uh, expenses of the household. Otherwise, if you don't want to go for a common account, I would say for a marriage and raising children, you need a common account. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I just don't see it working. I'm sorry. And you know, if I'm wrong, just correct me and write a comment. But I don't see it working other way around, mm -hmm. especially for a marriage and raising children. At the end of the day, after giving birth, the wife is going to automatically sit at home for some time. Mm -hmm. there, so there has to be some common account. How do I buy groceries? How do I buy supplies for the kids and things like that? Mm -hmm. Without coming to you every single day saying, oh, now we need this. I need a hundred. And then, mm -hmm. so I also have a perspective or an overview of how I'm spending this, where the money is going from the, yeah, they saw. from the, from the marriage or how where's the money going when you're spending it and where we're spending it so i think mm -hmm. it's essential i think it is essential in a marriage that you have a, a common account then the other thing is just you decide if you want to keep those separate accounts still there and for us everybody wants their freedom <laughs> it's better <laughs> order yeah it's absolutely. best to keep those extra accounts that's the question is it better to have a joint account what absolutely is better to have a, uh, a joint account where you pay all the expenses for the household. Okay. I would also say it's better to have a joint account just because when you are together, married or in a relationship and you're living together, you do contribute most of the bills together. So it's just best if we have an account that is responsible for that. Absolutely. What the risk of that is that the other person could be maybe overspending from the joint account or just or withdraw all the money and, and run away, run and away. Dump. something that happened to somebody here that is very dangerous some yeah because the other thing is the other person maybe you're arguing about something or they decide your partner decides going to leave you and they take all the money from that joint account and disappear because they have obviously access to it yeah. so that i think is the danger that prevent most people from doing it I don't feel there is still more I mean, benefits. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you need to know your partner, to be honest. Yeah. That is the, the the things that is, I mean, it took us a long time before we opened our joint account. So we kind of, were, we were already sure that we were going to be together. You, you need to be sure that your partner is the right one, you know what I mean? And that is the right one in what sense? In a sense that you know that you have a common project and you want to start a family and uh, you want to go in, in a direction that is financially uh, also connected. So you, you know that you are going to take care of your finances and the finances of your partner together. That makes sense for you. 
that is the reason why you are opening a common account, to be honest. Otherwise, you can also be with two separate accounts and each of, uh, of you is doing their separate business. Um, <laughs> do you think, you're talking about, you need to know, like you think first you need to earn your partner's trust and you need to know. You feel like we, you know we are going to be together, mm -hmm. so it was the right time. Can you say that now, at this stage, if I ask you, are you sure that I will never steal the money from the home account and, and from the joint account and run away with it? No, I'm not sure. So but it's a risk you're taking. That risk is always absolutely there. Absolutely there. It's absolutely there. I might run away with it. Be careful. Wait, there is not much <laughs> money in the common account, so I'm not scared. You look uncomfortable. Yeah, I am because I've been sitting in the chair for the past five hours. Right. So I... These are the reasons why we decided to have this kind of common account and why we think and we recommend you to do the same thing because that is what has worked for us from our experience and from our point of view. We have come, uh, we, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave us a like subscribe if you haven't yet and leave a comment below in the comment box like we have said in the introduction we do now have a new series financial education in a marriage check that playlist and stop playing while i'm talking check that playlist no baby i've changed the whole conclusion now i'm gonna leave the link to that uh, series up here and also a little bit in the description box Otherwise, if you enjoy this video, <laughs> yes, like and subscribe this channel for more content. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.